Is there anything better than a cold beer in a ball game? Amen, brother. Mm. Ah. Oh, sweet beer. Mm. Nothing better. <coughs> ah. Is there anything better than hanging out with the guys, eating some brats, and watching the Jags lose? They are hopeless. We should really move. Ah. Is there anything better than just sitting with your buddies and talking about your feelings? What's that? You know, I was holding my wife the other night, and we were talking about our insecurities. What in the world? Uh, yeah, I've been trying to be more intentional about actively listening to her. And, um, you know, holding that space and really inviting and encouraging her feelings into the conversation. Seeing if she has any unresolved hurts, you know, and then and then uh, validating those as legitimate instead of just defending myself or dismissing her. I'm going to stop you right there. I honestly haven't understood a single word you've said this whole time. And frankly, I'm a little scared. He sounds like the teacher from Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 yeah, I wish you would have told me this stuff before, so I could have uh, not invited you. Yeah, there is nothing better than drinking a cold one. Reminds me of intimacy with my wife. How could beer possibly remind you of that? You know, I've been practicing vulnerability and empathy in my communication. I don't think those are things. <coughs> I've never heard of them. Because remember, fellas, it's not the conflict that's bad. It's the way we handle conflict that's bad. Conflict can actually grow your closeness and understanding of each other if you if you listen and empathize and repair any hurt that you may have unintentionally caused. I think you should leave. Yeah, the sad part is avoiding conflict at all costs by invalidating or dismissing her feelings or hurts doesn't save the marriage, it actually kills it. I have so many questions. About how we're sabotaging our marriage with our destructive tendencies? No. About our emotional laziness? Also, no. About our subconscious fear of vulnerability and intimacy? No, about your manhood. Do you think he's drunk? I think that was his first beer. Yeah, there just ain't nothing better than prioritizing closeness and friendship and emotional connection with my wife through affection and respect and empathy. I finally realized that I had been selfishly loving her the way I wanted to all these years. I realized that busyness can absolutely kill your marriage and saying I do, it doesn't mean you can. Your marriage requires things from you to survive. Love requires things from you, like consideration and selflessness and sacrifice. Huh? And most of us devote far more time and energy to our work or hobbies or the sports that we watch. And our wives get our leftovers. I mean, no wonder so many marriages are colossal failures. I needed to date her again, to be affectionate again, to learn how she feels loved and prioritized and valued again. I needed to take my marriage off cruise control and prioritize trust and closeness with her again. I honestly can't listen to this anymore. This is more painful than the Jags game. I mean, I'm just assuming that's why she's so horny lately. <laughs> What's that? What? What'd you say? That I need to prioritize trust and closeness with Definitely her? Definitely not that. Yeah, the other thing. Oh, that she's in the mood all the time? Yeah, now? are you telling me the wife that you complained about was never in the mood? No, she wants to do it all the time? Yeah, pretty crazy, right? Yeah, I need to know exactly what you're doing. I already told you everything. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to start over. Yeah, okay, I mean, I think the most important, hold on, let me just check that. Oh. Just got a text from Emily. It's a bunch of peach and eggplant emojis. Dang. It's about to get crazy. I gotta go. No, 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 no. Finish what you were gonna say. Please don't leave. I take back everything I said. When will we see you again? Do you remember anything he said? Not a single thing. So just a little behind the scenes. Um, I, I obviously used real beer for that segment and uh, ended up drinking it all. Um, this, this one has a little bit left in it, but... I don't drink normally. That was like three beers in 30 minutes. And um, I'm feeling something inside of me. There's, some, there's something going on. I don't know if it's good or bad. It's a little bit of both. <laughs>